We've gone too far without you telling me what the fuck you're messaging my dad about on Instagram. I don't know what you're talking Carmen. about. Carmen. You're in cahoots with Corey and Carmen. In cahoots. What'd you find, Detective Carmen? I just told you. I wasn't shadows. listening. <laughs> 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 uh, Developed versus developing. Yeah, yeah. it's it's like Can a hard. It's not meant to be derogatory. Developing third world kind of became derogatory. Yeah, they're saying it's like the R word. It's like people just keep shifting the words instead of getting a better attitude about looking down on people who are differently able than they are. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Because it's just a word just changing instead of people. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I think people it's... aren't like suddenly like, oh, if they're not third world, they're developing, then I respect them more. They still are going to be disrespectful towards countries that they think are not as good as the United States, which a lot of people in the United States think the United States is number one, and they are so wrong because they've never traveled outside of Alabama. Boom. Do wow. we have any listeners in Alabama? Dropping it hot. I'm sure we do. Uh <laughs> But There's no I way. don't know them. There's no way. Um, I'm sure. Here's my theory. I think that the people who change the word aren't changing it. Like they don't look down on it. Like they think developing. They're like, no, it's a good indicator because they're they're growing their economy. But there's still pockets of it that like don't have water or don't have electricity. And like you can't treat those countries the exact same because then. Well, like, there are they pe- places get a lot in the help. United States that don't have that. There's very few places that don't have water and electricity. Unless you're trying to not have water and electricity. Hmm. But, like, very few people are stuck in the U.S. in a place without water and electricity. That's fair. So, I, I think those words are changed by people who mean well, and then they're adopted by people who just use it to look down on people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. On Carmen is in cahoots PR. Going to protest the immigrant center near my apartment what? later today. <laughs> That's you what thought she it was did. a high school. That was the best part. And I was yeah, like, those are a high school men. because they all <laughs> There were some kids. <laughs> That's true. So, and I was like, oh, child... are those teachers? And then I was like, well, that's a lot of teachers. And then I was like, eh, I'm not going to think about it. And, then... <laughs> and I was like, do all kids have beards now? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. Gen Z's aging like fucking apples over here. <laughs> Bananas. Um, and then some kind and possibly racist woman, I couldn't get a read on it, came over and was like, this is the first time I've been down here since they opened the immigrant center. Oh, my God. I thought it'd be a little crazier. And I was like... That's a fucking immigrant center? I had no idea. Despite what the New York Post tells you, a whole ass immigrant center opens up two blocks from my apartment. I guess it's full. Like this lady said it was full. And I didn't even notice. No. Like that's how that was, sensationalized that's what we were saying, the media. Where everybody's like, can you believe is. like this many people are coming in a day? It's like, yeah, what did you say? It's like pouring a glass of water in Lake Michigan. Yeah. It's just like, okay, already- you added, what, 2,000 more people to the neighborhood like i don't fucking care yeah, nor do i notice, notice. Yeah. like <laughs> you'd notice like in yeah vermont but yeah. you're not gonna notice here no no right exactly if you if you dumped them in tulsa oklahoma everybody would be like whoa that just tripled the population of the city and i'm like we're like wow why is new york running so efficiently all of a yeah. sudden <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> shit my doordash was fast this is <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> Good for them. I'm oh, glad my we can. I'm glad they could be in my wonderful neighborhood. <laughs> I think they. I think a couple. I think the family lives below me. Remember my, my karaoke karaoke neighbors family finally banged on their door when they were doing karaoke <laughs> at two in the morning. Just, Let it be it's known, too early. Carmen, a straight white woman in her <laughs> mid thirties. <laughs> told some people to quiet down. Oh, Corey. It's not like I called ice on them. 
No, you, you thought about it. <laughs> I, I'm I, no, I was like, I fucking <laughs> cannot handle this right now. It's, no. it's an illegal. You shouldn't be allowed to live in that basement. But like, it, no. but my landlady wouldn't get money, and I like her. Totally, yeah, legal to live I'm in the sh- basement. I'm and sure it was one thirty in the morning, and they mm-hmm. were blasting karaoke. It's that one guy, and I'm like, just yeah. turn the mic off, and it would be fine. But His they insist a on song. it. Yeah, you're right. And Rosa. it was a song you liked. You Rosa. like started singing along. Oh, and I was like... Okay, when they were singing Selena, if they had just sang Selena, I wouldn't have banged on the yeah. door. But then they were doing songs I didn't know. <laughs> he was screaming them. He was like, it really wasn't karaoke. It. Yeah. He was like letting out the demons yeah. of his forefathers. Yeah. That was like, yeah. hooey. Yeah. Which like, when I was there at 1130, it was kind of funny. And then it was yeah. funny at 1230. And then watching you flounder around and be <laughs> upset was also funny. But <laughs> at 115, I was like, yeah, you know, I don't trust that this is going to end it anytime soon. I needed it to stop. It was too much. Yeah. Too much karaoke in my basement. Mm. Too loud. But, it's too loud. But they're very nice. All right. Otherwise. We've gone too far without you telling me what the fuck you're messaging my dad about on instagram i don't know what you're talking carmen about. i don't look at carmen's phone i never you do. do no i don't no you look at the screen while i'm looking at it oh sure mm-hmm. yeah, yeah i never go through your phone oh, no but if you're just like scrolling i'm like what are you all of a sudden what are you doing said that on here. and also you're going i don't through my look messages, at what I was trying you're... to look for a fun video to show you uh-huh and i don't even look over your shoulder that much but today I did, and my because you recognized dad was in your messages. You recognized John Tyndall's name and, in my uh, DMs. I guess they are close in age, but if my dad, if you leave me for my dad, I, I, I don't know what I'd do. The best part is that there was like the DMs were right there. John, your dad was like right next to my ex had texted me like yesterday i didn't even notice <laughs> I that i know that's why it's so funny <laughs> which ex the girl one. Oh she yeah she's saying hi yeah, checking yeah, yeah. in something one of my stories i guess she i can't remember which one uh-huh made her reminded her of something mm-hmm. um and the, just that you were like oh, what your is sweet <laughs> puss <laughs> and you were like what is your dad doing here i was like this what is, is my dad doing here this is <laughs> wow all right let that be a lesson to everyone who's trying to cheat on their partner <laughs> just make sure their parents message is right next to <laughs> the person that you're cheating on them with because i didn't notice Not at all cheating on you. you're cheating on me with your ex and my dad oh so. my god <laughs> Anyway. Anyway, what the fuck is going on? I was asking him for your hand in marriage. No, you weren't. I know. He messaged me first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He messaged me today. He's Jesus never messaged me before. Cr- no, I know. I didn't know he went on Instagram. I knew he had one. I would love to have this be shown. I'm just going to bring it up to the camera, maybe. It and... depends what this is. Mm. <laughs> All right, we are 10 minutes and 14 seconds in, so... Oh, wait, that's after I edit out you rambling while I peed. Um, Oh, my God. I knew he had that somewhere. Wow. This is... Carmen, you have to talk into the microphone. I need to see these photos later. I have some of them. You've never asked to see them. I asked your father for them when you were not in the room over oh Christmas. Oh my God. I said, hey, I'm going to need you to get me pictures of your son when he was younger. And he was like, I'll look for them. And then today, <laughs> April, <laughs> in April, he just sends them no other message or context. And I send back, oh my goodness, this is the best gift I've ever gotten. Thank you. Ha ha ha. He looks like a handsome brother. I give you so many good gifts. <laughs> and your father sent pictures of you when you were younger. And that's the best gift of all. Thank you, John. Mm. Look Not even cute. that much younger. It was like senior year of high school. Look how cute you are. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let, me, let me see you these. Look, oh, you know, boy. You're, you're so cute. You look like a Hanson brother. Sincerely. Do you that, know who the Hansons yeah. are? Mm, yes. Bop, yep. I don't that know is too what young. my parents fucking told me. And he just got these off picture. Facebook. You could find them. Oh, really? Um, I didn't stalk you on Facebook. See, <laughs> this one I feel like is more like grungy, like Alice yeah. in Chains. But yeah, the, the other one. You big ar- forearms that, and hands for a kid. So those. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How old were you here? Y'all getting all <laughs> horned up looking at my had, teenage hey, photos. I did have a moment where I was like, oh, I would have had a crush on you. And then I was like, I would have 
have still been 10 years older than you so that would have been pedophilia mm-hmm. and then I was, I was like no I mean like if we were the same age yeah you could have babysat me I know <laughs> give me those if we were the same age when you were that age uh-huh. I would have had a crush on you mm-hmm. look you're, at them bright blue eyes yeah you're Ocean so cute blue you made yourself sound like such an ugly kid and you're like a very very cute no, good looking kid no I wasn't ugly I was fat um, that's okay you, also you weren't fat I was really big in this photo. This was actually the summer after I roofed houses, which my, which is why my arms are so big. Yeah, I don't know. I can so see your was... face, though. I can tell that you're like proportional. Also, you're like a tall guy. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I no, though, that, those were not the years that I was fat. I was fat in middle school oh, and the first see, two years I of see, high I school. See. And then oh. junior year, I kind of slimmed down a little bit. And then somewhere between junior and senior, which is right when those were taken, is when I was roofing houses. So I got really big, but it was like... Mm-hmm. It was like strong, big. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then senior year, I slimmed down again. Mm. Then I went to college. And then I gained 50 pounds in about six months of college. <laughs> freshman, yeah. The freshman 15. Freshman thing. 15 turned to freshman 50. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> was it drinking or was it because you no, got the free No, not pass? even drinking. It was the food. The it food, was so the, much. The dining hall. The yeah, unlimited. I was probably drinking six Mountain Dews. Because you also want to get like, your like, money's worth at those dining halls. They should change the system well that uh it was more that it was like we had a big group of friends and that was the best Mm -hmm. place to hang out yeah because the dorms you couldn't fit six people in uh yeah and the kitchenette we had to like share yeah so it was easier just to get a big table Mm -hmm. and then you get down there at five and you keep eating and someone shows up at six so you just keep eating because there's fucking cookies and mountain dew everywhere yeah oh god take me back oh (laughs) i would barf immediately coming if i had to eat at a college dorm again yeah god damn that's why i can never go to prison (laughs) yeah their food is so bad yeah when you were telling me about prison i was like i could do it and then you were like this is what the food is like and i was like i can't be any they don't have spirulina (laughs) and can't go to prison (laughs) Uh, Um, i would reform the food from the inside out there i think i'd be good for prison but uh, i don't want to go to prison i don't think so i think you'd join a gang immediately I would someone, lead a you'd be your really. someone's someone would be your les butch lesbian like guardian My lady protector? like pretty much immediately. Aww. Yeah. No, I'd be the leader. Okay. No, you're right. I'd immediately. <laughs> I'd immediately become. You can't even lead yourself to your Gmail. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Such a specific burn. Okay, fine. We're not good at technology anymore. There's no technology in prison. Maybe you'd thrive. You are feisty enough. Yeah. No, I think I, think I, you I, think do, I do better do well in prison, prison than me. Yes. Oh, hundred percent. Are you kidding? A, All right. Don't be that excited about it. It's women's prison. Women's prison versus men's prison are two very different That's worlds. That's a good point. Yeah. I, th- I just think I would do well. I think as long as I'm not in like a super max. You know, like, yeah. like the okay. highest level of prison where it's a bunch of murderers. I think, I think bad things are happening, but if it's like a lower level prison, I, I kind of trust my ability to be friends with people mm, Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. then I feel like I'd be okay. But I don't think that works at the upper levels. I think I'd be, know? I think as in a women's prison at the upper levels, I'd still be all right. And there'd still be crazies, but I think I would get them. I have a way with like, they love you mentally insane oh, people. Oh my God. Yeah. You have so many friends. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I, they're borderline on the street. How are you friends with them? Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> I don't know. I just connect with them. <laughs> they find me. <laughs> they find you. <laughs> what else did we find today? We found a solar eclipse today. Yeah. It's eclipse day. Is we, this the, this isn't coming out this Thursday. It's coming out the one after. No, We're it's coming one out ahead, the one baby. after. But yeah, we solar eclipse We're super f- anticlimactic in New York city. Yeah. It, it was, was cool. I didn't get to sure. look at it last year. I mean, <laughs> all right, hold on. So you roll up and you're like, Mother Nature is punishing those of us that are bad at planning. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're like, the non planners are the ones that appreciate it. And I was like, okay. And then like I saw four meme. minutes in, you're like, this sucks. And I was like, yeah, you really appreciate it, huh? <laughs> Not the person who's been looking forward to it for two months. I tried to get us to drive up to Vermont. And you were like, eh, it's not going to happen. And I was like, it's not going to happen. Apparently, Vermont's like, blowing up with people my mom had a picture yeah. of church tree yesterday and it was just full of people it's right on the That's path so of totality unlike. yeah 
That must have been kind of cool to look at. But, yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. But it's only the last four minutes. I was late to the eclipse. Yep. Was, <laughs> you were. You can't be. Shocking. They're like, it happens every seven million years. And then you look it up and they're like, it'll happen again next year. And you're like, why did you make me rush to get to the eclipse when it happens every five minutes? <laughs> it's fine. The next one in New York is in like 80 years. Right. But but also this, like, I could wait. I don't need in... to see that what we saw again. No. If I'm going to, like, make a yeah. trip. We need well, total yeah, eclipse. Yeah, yeah. Why total would I... eclipse of the fart. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we actually planned that. <laughs> we planned very little on this podcast. Somehow we planned that. I don't know if plan's a strong word for. <laughs> you wrote it down. Oh, I did. <laughs> totally See, this is how little fart. we plan. Carmen plans, and we don't even remember the plan. <laughs> this is Eclipse TikTok. Would you like to expand on that? Oh, yeah. Um, TikTok obviously blowing up with Eclipse. People, of my favorite ones are Eclipse clips. Eclipse clips. Um, I thought we were going to have a bunch of people being like, the end is nigh, we had the earthquake, and now we've got the eclipse, Jesus is coming, which we did have. We did have a couple of those um, people, which I love those people. Me too. They're just out there doing their best. They make the world it's a more interesting good, place. But it's their best. I love, yeah. We you gotta love dumb people. You have to. Yep. Yeah. They're like non-player characters. Yeah. They're the NPCs of the world. Oh, I don't know. They I just think keep they're the, the quirky, story moving. like, friend that's, yeah. They're a little less harmless in the United States than maybe... They were in the past i don't know i guess i can't say for sure they're like i don't know i don't know they're a little bit nefarious now because they're like the government we got to do something and they like shoot people i feel like instead of just being like the earth is flat they're like they have like an agenda that's yeah. that's bad that's true. And like just think the earth you could just think the earth is flat and i'm gonna think you're fucking adorable just do that i feel like they're just people with crazy anxiety that were told something as a child and it just like developed uh, they were not told, told the earth was flat as a child. They no, were no, told, no, but they were told like you they can't, watched too many YouTube you can't videos trust later. everything. Yeah. I think that's seeded and at have, a young and age. And they have a little bit of psychosis. Right. I think you mix those two Crazy things. Crazy anxiety, like yeah. a little bit of mental health issues, and then told not to trust anyone at the beginning, at not like early not ages. Somebody, people betrayed them a lot, so they weren't able to trust mm. maybe. Or they just go down like a fox rabbit, not like fox, but like, yeah, the the conspiracy theory rabbit holes are very real. Yeah. I thought 9-11 was, was an inside job for a while because I went down a rabbit hole. <laughs> Fun fact about me. Was I fully an adult? Was this? Yes. It was more recent than I care to Carmen, tell. No. It was a brief period of time. And then I talked to a couple friends and they were like, you're an idiot. And I was like, fine. <laughs> but you go down enough of those rabbit holes and well, you're what, like... What did you... You, you just get confirmation George bias. Bush, you keep CIA? getting it. Like, what did you think it was? I don't know. But my friend was like, honestly, nobody can coordinate that kind of thing. Like, nobody can keep secrets. They it's totally. Yeah, happen. no, that. But the part like the steel crazy. melting thing, and then like the fact that the buildings had like insurance that was taken out like the week before or something like just like stuff like that. I can't remember. But I was like, <laughs> coincidental stuff. It was like a lot of stuff, but it was like <laughs> I'm sure the full story wasn't there. Like, yeah. whatever they were telling me, they're presenting it in the most, like, um, nefarious way where they're not get Like, nobody gives an unbiased thing. They're trying to get you to con convince you and get you on their side. So they're not yeah. giving you the... They're not like, well, you know, and you're like, complain about your boyfriend or girlfriend. You're not like... You don't say why it was your fault. You say why it was only their fault. Mm, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good not to believe... Uh everybody the I steel beams but, thing is yeah. insane because that takes like literally two seconds of research to be like yeah if you pour it on a regular steel beam and it's just sitting there then nothing happens but if mm. it's under a ton of pressure mm. the melting point lowers mm -hmm. and then it can melt mm -hmm. it's like basic chemistry <laughs> Yeah, and it usually like, it usually is pretty like, basic science. It's so basic. But listen, and then like the other stuff. I was thirty two. I was confused. <laughs> oh, but then also like, did you not? Have you seen the the video of the dude that? It was like two days that I thought this. So okay. leave me. I was also going Great. through a dubstep phase. It was a whole time. What the fuck? Where's that phase? I want that Carmen back. It was a fun phase. Hang out with my long haired phase. So you want me in my dubstep and 9-11 was an inside job phase? <sighs> my two days of glory. <laughs> Boy, I guess you got to take the bad with the good, huh? <laughs> yeah, what was the thing my sister sent the us this week? The bad is the dubstep. The good is the 9-11 conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she sent us a thought experiment, my sister. 
the um would you rather date a, a oh because it was on somebody else's podcast never mind we're not gonna do it because okay. it's somebody else's can't be stealing other people's no. podcasts even though everyone else's podcast is just stealing reddit so <laughs> i guess if the ai companies can do it why not the rest of us um what was I talking about? Did you see the video of the dude who stole an airplane from Seattle International Airport and when? then just like flew around for a few hours until he crashed it into an island to kill himself? <gasps> cool. That was probably 10 years ago. The video is very sad because there's audio of all of it and he's like talking. How, so he knows how to fly a plane? Yeah. Obviously. He, uh, this actually, wasn't like his first go because no, that'd no, be no, really no. impressive. You can, you can look this up. This was... So it was it was his first go flying a plane. He learned how to fly a plane from the flight simulator game that <gasps> Microsoft puts out. Whoa! And he like flew it around. He's like tell he's talking to air control the whole time. He's like I'm gonna go see Mount Rainier, and he like flies around, and then he's like I'm gonna go to the Olympic Mountain Range, and he's like Wow, this is beautiful. And then it gets really sad because he starts apologizing to his family and talking about like how he didn't realize he was mentally ill, but now he's like looking around and being like, wow, you know, maybe a screw is loose. And he's like, it's really sad. And then he does a barrel roll and the, cool. the fucking wow. passenger plane does it. Like he gets very close to, to hitting the water and like did a full flip in a passenger plane plane and then he like literally says on the radio he's like yeah, i didn't think i was gonna be able to do that guys i thought that'd be the end so uh eh, i'm just gonna go crash this somewhere else and <laughs> tell my family i love them <laughs> crashed into an island so anyway honestly though the if fact you're that he gonna... could do that means that anyone could pull off 9-11 <laughs> yeah you're right that was 10 years ago was that a small airport seattle international is huge how did he get an airplane? He just went out of the runway and just fucking... Beep. You kind of can just do that. Like, yeah. for all the security that they have, like, there Once is a part of that's airport, like, you just sort yeah. of walk onto the tarmac. Yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. And if you look, if you just have, like, a reflective vest, that's all it sure. takes. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know how he how also, he got in originally, but... what a badass way to commit suicide. I am absolutely not condoning or encouraging <laughs> suicide in any way, shape, or form. But, like that versus like jumping in front of the subway and ruining my day <laughs> yeah true that just cost wow. boeing a few hundred thousand yeah. dollars that's fine but yeah you probably did uh, cost a lot i'll show you the video money. later but it will make you sad no i don't want to watch it okay i'm not watching it anyway the eclipse tiktok i found a woman that is verified on tiktok which i was like mm, i don't know how you got verified if you're going to be putting out stuff like this i think she's like a self-help person verified just means popular no, verified on TikTok is legit. You've got to be like you got to have a bunch of they followers. Just and they that she was a real. That's what I'm saying. You're popular, and you can prove yes. that you are who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter what your beliefs are. True. As long as uh, you're not TikTok hateful. will not like you could be super popular, and they won't verify you. Like there's a couple comedians that are super dirty that they won't verify. Uh, um, then I'll never get verified, which I don't want to be. So jokes mm, on you, TikTok. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, she was saying that we shouldn't look at the eclipse. She was like, don't do it. It'll ruin your life. It's going to be years of pain afterwards. Nobody should look at the eclipse. I looked at the eclipse seven years ago, and my life has been awful ever since I looked at it. I'm not talking about without sunglasses. I looked at it without the sunglasses. I'm talking about the power of the eclipse. Like in the olden days, they used to fear eclipses, and they were right. And ever since I looked at that one in 2017, my life's been awful. And I was like... This is a new lane of conspiracy that I wasn't... I don't it's think I'm not, ready for that's it. That's the exact same as astrology, A. That's mm. the exact same level as astrology. And B, how do you not have that belief and then not think like, oh, finally is my chance to look at the eclipse again and turn everything back around? Ooh. She think her life point. was going to get worse if she looked at it again? That's what she said. Boom. She was like, nobody look at it. And you're like, that is how you reverse the curse. <laughs> Well, I don't believe in those things. So I went into a graveyard today on the day of the eclipse on the God week of the earthquake. And there just happened to be a door behind this art, this stone archway that I like to visit. And the door was unlocked and I opened it. It was like a hatch that goes under the earth. And then it was a ladder that goes down. I have footage. We can put it up if you want to. Sure. Send me the video. <laughs> and there's a ladder that goes down into the darkness. So I went down there and I looked around and it was anticlimactic. It was Aww. just like a cobwebby room full of 
old books that had spells in them and like a pentagram and no it was just a regular room there were no Whoopi bodies Goldberg in that one movie with the eclipse <laughs> do you know what movie no, i'm talking I have no about idea what you're talking there's about a, there's Whoopi's a movie been in so many movies that you could be like you know the one with like Whoopi and the lobster and i'd be like no because she's, she's, <laughs> she's been just in best everything friends with a lobster <laughs> um there's a movie where Whoopi goldberg goes back in time to the middle ages but she's a science teacher and they're about to kill her but she tells them all that they're gonna that she's a wizard and they're like all right we'll prove you're a wizard but she knew that there was a solar eclipse that day oh and my so God. she predicted the solar eclipse and then they all <gasps> like made her queen or whatever the fuck that's awesome yeah that's a fun premise that is a bad movie but a very fun premise yeah even as a kid i was like this movie sucks was it the 90s or 2000s because all the like Ooh. that was a good time for just could be both. trash movies so you no streaming saw, services you could do whatever you want back then you saw that there was an eclipse today and you were like let's fuck around and go into a tomb just to yeah just to like see what happens <laughs> just to see, spice it up just to see if the prophecy I was true I wonder why Carmen was late for the eclipse oh she was tomb raiding in Queens <laughs> and this was a very meaningful spot because I go to it to fake pray <laughs> oh my god I'm saying too much because I just don't want people to in the graveyard to think that I'm there just to exercise I want them to think that I'm also visiting loved ones because I don't want to be disrespectful but I'm just there to run I really love graveyards and I like visiting the people that are there that are not actually there and I, I just it's peaceful and quiet and and it's the only place in the city that's like that but there's a certain place that i go that i pretend to kneel and just hang out and then i just happened to go behind it a couple days ago because there was a tree that had fallen because of the earthquake and i wanted to check that out and then i saw that there was this hatch and that the hatch was unlocked and goddamn if you leave an unlocked mysterious door around your girl she going in <laughs> <laughs> that i do know yeah yeah there's a really Carmen could bug. die at any time. She really is a stray cat just yeah. wandering around. The movie's called A Night in Camelot, and it's based <gasps> on a novel. I might have actually seen that. That sounds Who really Who wrote familiar. the novel that the Whoopi Goldberg Eclipse movie is based on? Uh, you have two guesses. Who wrote the novel that Who is... Who wrote the novel that A Night in Camelot is based on? And I guarantee you know this author. Is it the same person who wrote... Um, um, the, the I can you give me multiple choice? <laughs> no, because you're gonna get it. Frank Albaum, um, J.R. Tolkien, um, J.K. Rowling. Um, now you're phoning it. Sarah J. Moss, who wrote Court of Thorn and Roses, which I'm almost done with. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. He's got an award named after him. <sighs> um, Peabody. Mark Twain. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> yeah, right? Twain? Crazy. Twain? The Twain? Oh, Twain? <laughs> I, did a, I did a comedy festival, the, the, the Twain Comedy Festival or something. I don't know. That's fun. With Michelle Buteau and... Ooh. Oh, and um and why am I blanking on his name? He's so awesome. Um, Jordan? His last name is Black. Michael Ian Black. Oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> Jordan Carlos, who does oh. the podcast with... <laughs> <laughs> no this was so long ago michael ian black is a really fun person in real life he's very nice i believe that he yeah. seems very down to earth yeah he's dope what else do we have apparently you have weird psychology question for me that i may or may not cut out of this podcast we had the earthquake that was oh yeah that goes with the eclipse all yeah. the conspiracy people i thought like, we were, we're all gonna, gonna have die an earthquake and uh an eclipse and jesus is coming <laughs> and fish will come out of the sky and you have to sleep with it otherwise you're gonna die <laughs> i mean that's just a tuesday yeah new york city <laughs> yeah well it's monday today so it's obviously off schedule every day in new york city feels like the end of times so there's always something happening every yeah. day that you're like rolling your eyes at you're like Ugh, okay, we get it there's elephants in Manhattan now. <laughs> there's always, and you're like, I can't now. I can't get to my shit on time because there's elephants. There might be element elephants in uh, Germany. Did you hear that news story? What? The president of what do you mean elephants in Germany? I think it's Botswana. At the zoo? No. Uh, one of the presidents of an African country, uh, Central African country, Germany is putting a. Um, import bans on like elephant tusks and like all this other like stuff ivory yeah and the president of this country is like cool we're fucking overrun with elephants so we're just gonna like give you 200 of them and you can deal with them because 
Apparently, they're being treated like pests now in Africa. No way that we have like that many. Knocking down trees and like they flipping are, over cars. No, they and are like annoying. They do do that doing, shit. Doing all that shit. The and bulls it's like, will do that, yeah. When yeah. they're horny, yeah. uh, they will chase your car down and they will flip mm-hmm. it. When I was in Namibia, they did that to somebody That's while I was on the awesome. road. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. They're I, like, oh, they're horny right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Ugh. if if teenage boys in the United like, States oh. had that kind of energy when they were horny, they would also flip cars. I mean, we should be blessed that we don't have ride every once in a strength. while strength. <laughs> yeah, they will. I yeah. They will turn over cars. You're right, but that's more. Yeah, if the sports game goes well mm-hmm. or bad, like you're not safe. Either no way. riots if it's bad. Yeah, it only yeah. goes well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a Michigan State where they light a couch on fire. It's great. <laughs> we many, do that in Vermont for just even just to just to warm just up. To warm honestly, up. Yeah. yeah, I've been to a couch <laughs> fire party for sure. Um, okay, earthquake. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I thought the world was ending. Germany. I had I, I had no fear at all. I was like, oh, this is cool. A little earthquake. You you thought it was a truck. I thought, I thought it was a it truck. Was, and I didn't then think I, we had earthquakes here. I know that we have like little tiny oh, yeah, ones, but I didn't happen. think we had ones that big, like I, discernible ones. Yeah. I thought it was a truck, and then I was like, "Is my boiler exploding?" And that's what I was a little bit afraid of. I mean, and then it can I knock realized, gas stuff so that if you light right. a fire, and you could like blow up your house in mm-hmm. theory, if it knocks a fun. gas tube. Well, I got renter's loose. insurance, so. But we're how would good. you know? Like, I feel like ugh, it's crazy because they're like, "Don't light a flame after an earthquake," and it's like, "How would I know if it's loose? I have to light a flame eventually. When? How else am I gonna burn Did they my really say that? Bed Bath and Beyond candles? Yeah, because it can. That is one of the dangers is that it will knock loose one of your gas oh. tubey guys. Sorry for clicking. Yeah. I well, just, I made breakfast on my stove like ten yeah, minutes later. So. We all did. Oops. It's rare. <laughs> it's rare. And that was a small, a small quake. But I didn't hear of anything <sighs> bad happening. And I thought no. that's surely something somewhere, nah. like a, like a, um, a, um, air conditioner falling on somebody. But nothing. There was nothing. Do nope. so we have zero casualties? There were, yeah. That's zero. awesome. Great. You need, you need much more. Uh, like you need the buildings to start falling over for, for casualties. Someone online was saying that their Funko Pop collection got broken and <laughs> fell off of a shelf that's but. a casualty that's several <laughs> funko pop casualties rest in, it is a tragedy in... but i don't know if it's a casualty <laughs> funko pop um yeah i i have high anxiety so i thought the world was ending and then i thought we were being bombed and everyone yeah. online was like i thought my dishwasher was being wonky and i was like i <laughs> was trying to figure out who in my family to call first. <laughs> I know. My new theory. last, first and last. I was like, who? <laughs> uh, you mom, didn't call you me. I was going to call you. I was very low on the list. You actually texted the exact same thing that I was going to text, which was, did you feel that? Because it stopped. If it hadn't yeah, stopped, like, I was going to call like my mom and uh-huh. be like, I love you. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Peace. Me? Just break up with oh her. My God. <laughs> no, I would have. I thought we were being like attacked. And I was like, this could be it technically uh, your mom said she felt it part of me thinks that mm-hmm. she's been just waiting for something to text you about so she like <laughs> got an alert that there was an yeah. earthquake in jersey and she goes did you feel that and no. just like, she pretend felt like it. she felt she it she noted the time and then she heard about the the earthquake but nobody else felt it around her she said <laughs> and i was like but she's a very she's a she's sensitive lady to the, to the woman. ways of the, of the Man, world she's got her toes in the dirt really <laughs> feeling all them seismic waves <laughs> she was tasting the earth at the time that it happened God. is your mom a hippie in the 60s no oh isn't was that she weird actually you 60s? can correct me if i'm wrong mom but was she around in the 60s yeah, yeah. like yeah. like old enough to oh, go to no. woodstock no and i think like, she was born she in like 64 like yeah that doesn't count Okay, so she's the same age as my dad. She, like, grew up in the Wait, 80s. Wait, no, she's 16. No, she's older than your dad. Oh, God. Your dad's I older than I know this. I know this. Wait, I'm sorry. My, okay. No. Your dad's almost my grandparents' age. Yeah. Yeah. But my mom is five years younger than him. Right. So she's, what year was she born? I know this. <laughs> okay, my dad was born in 1948, so she was born in 1953. Okay, so, she so is she's 77. My mom no, is not 71. 77. 71. 71. 71. She'll be 71. Yeah. In uh, July. Okay. So yeah, she grew up in the 70s more. Yeah. Which like not as much peace and love. Yeah. But, hmm. That's true. I didn't mm. think about that. Yeah. 
yeah, not a great time to grow up. It feels like the seventies feels well, like the kind 70s of like a meh. No, why? I feel like the eighties was fun. The sixties was 70s fun. Seventies was great. It was the start of rock and roll. Everything was awesome. But if you the don't like rock and roll, slapping. then you're like whatever. It was still the culture. Our culture now is all fucking depressed. Billie Eilish has got the number one song. It's sad as hell. Yeah, but like if you were gay Blows. back then, you would just get fucking well. All right, killed. yeah, fine. Don't be gay or black or not anything besides a white man. But yeah, it like, sounds awful. The seventies sounds well, terrible. Yeah, but she didn't know any better. <laughs> Renee, call, email she the did. show and back me up. You're just she like, did that's know how it was things. bad. Well, yeah, but you don't like she realize wasn't, she how didn't have, bad they didn't it was. Have, they didn't have money. Like she I'm had not like saying an she abusive had a great childhood. father. I'm just who, saying, is, okay. they, there was nothing you could right. do back then about it. Really, nobody you cared. To, you had to kill him. You could just get sexually harassed like a motherfucker. Nobody yeah, was doing shit. It was a great time. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding. Get out of the podcast. Uh, it's my house. You are not in cahoots. <laughs> I am. You out are of not cahoots. being in cahoots right now. <laughs> I really want to do that in a real fight. <laughs> You are so out of cahoots right now. I'll do it, but you won't react well to it. Because when we're actually you in the face. Like, when we're fighting, you do not like joking. I, uh, you do I not do like sometimes. Your jokes are mean. No, I felt like it was funny when the other day we said "fuck you" to each other, and I was like, "This is kind of funny" because it sounded really stupid coming out of our faces, and you were like, "No, it didn't sound it stupid." Didn't sound stupid. <laughs> it sounded so stupid. Your jokes are so unjokey. I was that it wasn't a joke. I just think like in retrospect as we were like that was I'm sorry. We just it was like in retrospect it was very funny that we said fuck you to it. It was just so out of character. It was silly. It felt silly at yeah, the moment. In retrospect. Yeah. Now you still don't think it's funny? Like even no, now, it's now that we've gotten now. some distance. Okay, no, 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 it's okay. funny. It's funny now, okay, but there. in the moment it wasn't a joke. No, and then as we were making up it wasn't a joke to you. No, but I still now wasn't. it's funny. I didn't like it. Yeah, it's no. It's, I, I don't get, think I don't I think we should do funny. it ever again. Yeah. But like now that we're, <laughs> I'm glad we tried it once. But like I don't feel like it really. It just, even as I was saying it, I really wish you would have done it to like, me slower. So funny. <laughs> We've literally never. It was very. I thought it was kind of funny. Yep. Well, you know, when you're mad and you're just like, ah, fuck you, and you were like, fuck you, nope, and I was like, I <laughs> have never done that. Before. I know. That's why it's kind of funny. Okay. Because we don't mean it. Uh huh. And we were just like trying to blow off steam, and that was our best attempt. It's like a kid when a kid swears, like when a four year old's like, ah, shit. And you're like, <laughs> okay. You're Is that four. how you think about yourself as a about child? Us fighting when we say fuck you to uh. each other. Anytime adults say fuck you to each other like that. Like, I think I've heard my mom and Tom actually do it one time, and I wow. <laughs> laughed my ass off behind their back. I'm so sorry, you guys. But you have to, hearing adults fight like that is, if it's not. Because they are, they're both very like peaceful people, and it wasn't, it just doesn't sound threatening coming out of their mouths. Does that make sense? If it were I two guess. like scary people who like beat each other or have like constant fights that are wearing on each other and you emotionally, but if they're just like, it just felt like it was like more of like a blowing off steam moment for them and for us, mm. where you can immediately be like, what? <laughs> you know? Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> agree to disagree. <laughs> All right, what's next? Great, now that we've gotten the couples therapy portion <laughs> out of the way. I love our couples therapy portion. I think Carrie, people... don't buy those blueberries. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were going to do this They're last poisoned. one. <laughs> Carrie, now we had to catch her off guard. Those crackers don't have enough <laughs> multigrain in them. And it's too much safflora. There was a recall on that spinach. <laughs> Carrie listens to the podcast when she's grocery shopping. We have learned. <laughs> now, Carrie, whose dog we named in the very early episodes, <laughs> didn't really name it. She didn't pick a name that we picked, but it was a fun sound. Are those really the best strawberries? Do they have the most red? It's some more food things. Do you know what I mean when you're like holding up the fruit and you're like, are these the most ripe? Because they like hide them in there. The like you Then you take them home and you're like, oh, there's a bunch of unripe ones. They're just in the inside. Email the show if you knew what she was talking about right there. In cahoots <gasps> pod. When you're trying to buy a thing CC of strawberries. Excuse me. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> See, it's All right, funny. When <laughs> you try to buy a thing of strawberries and you're trying to find the reddest, most ripe ones that are ripe without being overripe. And then you're looking, you know, you're looking at all the sides of the oh, container. Oh, sure. But then you take them home and it was just those sides. The other sides of them are white. Mm hmm supremacists and you can't eat those those are bad that's true you yeah. are what you eat 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you had, you said, um, a, a, other listeners, um, Ashley yelled at Brian and you were going to tell oh, me and then you were, eclipse. and then I was like, save it for the pod if you can. Save it for the pod. Yeah. Apparently Ashley <laughs> we're not the was only couple that has fights. Freaked out at Brian cause he brought the dogs outside to look at the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bunch of dogs outside. They didn't yeah, look at it I and know. they were like, what? Well, they don't. So did there Michigan was like a get thing anything going around? They got more than we did actually. Okay. Um, there's like a thing going around that was like, leave your pets inside. The eclipse will stress them out. And I was like, okay, our our pets, first off, fucking pussies these days. They're <laughs> they are the like evolution should take them, but we won't let it. Our and pets? So, no, I've heard that all animals act really strange. Like giraffes will just start sprinting around and stuff. Well, yeah, they'll act weird, but it's also like it's only in the path where it gets totally blocked oh, okay yeah so like ours theirs was only like 95 percent, but like mm. you go outside it just looks like a cloud kind of went over mm-hmm. the thing and the dogs aren't gonna look up at the sun and be like oh what's going on up there like yeah. Yeah. they're not like they're totally fine mm-hmm. and i was like i wonder how many people got yelled at uh because it's also like what about all the animals in nature like they might start running around but like who cares you know, it's something for them to do that. Day. I don't think I've ever seen They're an animals. animal look at the sun. Yeah, because it fucking hurts. I think because they instinctively know even better than humans, aka Trump. Like I think they just know better, even than us instinctually. Yes? No? I don't know. I mean, but I guess th- we they can't know. conceptualize that something's weirds happening unless it's fully dark. And like when the unless the sun is fully blocked, it looks normal. Like you kind of yeah. glance up there, you're like, "Oh, there's the sun." It, it's just you like can't a cloudy tell. day. Yeah, this was brighter today than it has been on cloudy days we've had yeah, in the past. Exactly. So the dogs don't know. But then yeah. Brian lives across the street from a church, and there was a bunch of kids sitting on the front step of the church, just raw dogging that eclipse. Oh no! <laughs> and I like to think they were sitting there going. Well, if God wanted me to bl- be blind, he'd send a sign. So I'm not worried about it. I'm like, oh, a sign like the moon in front of the sun? Like, <laughs> Wait, this is a dumb question. Can you look at it when it is fully covered? No. You still can't? No. Why? Because the ring around it? Yeah. There's still a ton of particles coming in. And the so like when you Wait, look at... Wait, did we have a total eclipse in New York City in no. 2017? Is that what you're saying? No. No? No. We had a partial one that was even smaller than this one. But when was that? 2017? 2017. Wait. I think I was here for that. Wait, tw- yeah, I, obviously I was here for were. that. I just remember, I just had a core memory just flash. Uh, I was walking dogs. I was a dog walker. <laughs> and I was really trying to get this dog outside. And I really wanted to see the eclipse. But I had a very, very tight schedule with these dogs. And I was trying to get these dogs. Were do- you late for I- this eclipse again? Are you over two on eclipses? I missed it. Yes, because I was trying to get inside this apartment and the keys weren't working because there were so many times when my clients would give me shitty keys or like old keys or their keys wouldn't work or they had like a special thing with their door where you had to like give it an orgasm in order to open the fucking door. And I was crying, just like weeping in this apartment, which was not uncommon for me on these dog walks. That was the hardest job I've ever had. I challenge any, any CEO to make $10 a fucking hour walking sick and mentally ill dogs that are stressed out Mm -hmm. when the apartment doesn't work nothing's set up correctly the leashes are weird everything is fucked up the dogs are not happy you got to take them up five flights of stairs in 200 degree heat because there's no air conditioner in their stairwells yeah give me more wine and then you got to pick up their shit and get yelled at people it's a that was the worst got carmen going tonight <sighs> just yeah. I just had an eclipse memory that I was trying to eclipse. There's a whole uh, show. So where, yeah, I missed that one because uh, was... CEOs go do the basic job for a day it's called Undercover to... Boss. Uh, that dog was blind and deaf. It was one of those dogs that's bred to be Helen Keller. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? They're very yeah. beautiful, but they are yeah, literal yeah, yeah. Helen Keller dogs. Yep. Stop breeding them. People are keep making these dogs. Yeah. People want them. This is a perfect segue into one of my theories, which I can't believe we haven't gotten to. It's fine if they want them, but stop making more of them. It's a type of woman that wants a certain type of dog. They're very sweet, but it's because because they're helpless. So it kind of makes the owner seem like a dick if you think about it. Because they're like, I want something I can fully control. It's like, no. For all the young men out there, 
watching this is something i picked up over the years oh boy the type of pet that a woman has is the type of boyfriend that she wants Ooh. Have we done this on the podcast before? No. I remember this theory. Yeah, and it's you a didn't really hate theory. it. It sounds sexist at the beginning. It did, and then I was not. like, I came around on no, it. No, it's a like, good. It's a good theory. Yeah, you're right. Big dog women. Uh huh. Think about the qualities of a big dog. Mostly uh-huh. self-sufficient, but also very loyal. Mm-hmm. Can be dumb as rocks, <laughs> but totally fine. They just want like a friend that they can like kind of boss around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, like obviously she's still in charge. Mm -hmm. Like she's going to make sure the house is clean and like dinner's cooked and all the chores are done, but she likes to like, you know, but also she's not worried that the dog's going to die at all times. She doesn't feel like she has to like baby the dog because it's a big dog, you know, Mm -hmm. then a small dog woman wants a boyfriend that's truly helpless just (laughs) someone who couldn't wipe his own ass without someone telling him reminding him how to do it like just as like like someone who wants a chihuahua like that woman wants a a man that comes home and she just likes take care of them fully what's that stephen king movie it no the one where (laughs) where she hits the guy and then she takes care of him and won't let him go oh i don't know Oh, yeah. it's really good. This would be like Munchausen by proxy. Yes. I also that. think all these women just insane anxiety where they're just they need to be in control of everything in their life at all mm-hmm. times. They're worried about every little thing. So a little dog, they feel like they can control 100 percent of its life. And so they're yeah. like, you know, they're they're, and they're chaotic people because those dogs yes. are very high maintenance. And so are the women attached to them usually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Women Weird. who have cats, they are perfect beautiful fucking insane cool uh, sexy they like a pet that quirky. is entirely self-sufficient and borderline uncontrollable because they have their own problems to worry about and they can't be worried about someone else's problems okay fair <laughs> <laughs> and then weird weird pet lady like lizards and snakes mm. and whatever mm-hmm. like Boy, you better have finger tattoos because that's <laughs> that's her type right you there. You better that's wear skull rings, my man. Skull rings, nipple piercings, just <laughs> I mean, she she is she's, she's a some, handful. She's into some BDSM. She's into some crazy best sex of your life, but she's gonna be <laughs> Excuse ooh, me. Boy. I've never hooked up with any of those people, so you're the best sex in my life. <laughs> Good answer. You good heard it here again. Good recovery by your boy. <laughs> I tend to go for the cat women because I'm very independent and I'm very self-sufficient and you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> well, what I tell you to do. Exactly. You don't even comprehend <laughs> what you would tell me to do. You asked me what shoes to buy the other day, and I was like, I don't, I don't know. Like, whatever makes you feel good. And I was yeah. like, none of them make me feel good. I feel like I'm going to get shit on. And you were like, uh, what about these ones? You pulled up pink shoes. I didn't like, pull you don't up know pink me shoes. At all. Which yeah. you, you there was would pink pull shoes off. on the screen. You were like, these are cool. You would look good in like, those. Uh-huh. You know how confident a man looks in pink? I mean, I can't wear pink. I have pink undertones. Yes, that's true. That is true. Mm-hmm. That is true. I know like three things about fashion. And I that love is that you know that. Them. You definitely can't wear pink. You're right. Nope. Because of your pink undertones. But like you can have pink in your shoes. I just think like a man who doesn't have pink undertones who wears pink like is kind of owning who they are. And that's attractive to women. So sure. I think like that the color has kind of come back. And who they years. are is a man that wears pink. But I feel like I'm owning who I am, which is a man that does not wear pink. And I was thinking you kind of own like... <laughs> <laughs> Carmen (laughs) This like beige (laughs) But like you're the like the default You're You're like jeans and white t-shirt But like It it fits for you If you felt comfortable If you're comfortable in that that's great But if you feel comfortable in like other stuff I'm going to embrace whatever Fashion journey you go on Because you are You you have brought this up That you want to like What's yeah, you your style? It's like this... your style is like default Sims character. You're, you are, 
you got this look at your shirt now like i've worn yeah. a different shirt no, for every I'm, single I'm, episode <laughs> of this podcast and i will continue to do so until the I end of time don't have enough shirts to do <laughs> yeah. that Corey has worn so, two shirts one is cream I, no <laughs> and he blends into the wall seven or eight shirts and i do blend into the wall and i forgot about that this morning <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay I think you're very attractive. I don't have a lot of room in my apartment style. for clothes. Because you're not uncomfortable in what you're wearing either. I am now. If you were uncomfortable in this, I would be like, we got to find whatever you're comfortable in. But you're comfortable in that. You have said that. You got you to just find what you're comfortable in. You want to yeah. you want to get out of your comfort zone? You want to wear these OnlyFans bathing suit? <laughs> okay, but that we were in Aruba. Who was going to be like, Whoa, nya, nya. that didn't stop you from freaking out about your OnlyFans bathing suit yeah, the entire time? Yeah, because it had no coverage. It was <laughs> one size fits all. And if one size is a 12-year-old, then for sure. <laughs> but there was no coverage <laughs> on that bathing suit. See, you I got guys used see to it. how a cat woman really just doesn't understand <laughs> how to make decisions for anyone else. That's kind of their thing. So if mm-hmm. you want to date a woman that has a cat, I highly recommend. But yeah. you just got to be ready to make all of your own decisions for yourself. What decision would I make for you, sincerely? What I was wearing, what decor mm-hmm. I should have in my house. You no. should talk with more big dog and small dog women about what they do with their boyfriends because... I know a lot that are just like, I know a ton Wouldn't of that, dudes. They would just end in a breakup. No, I know a lot of dudes that are like, nope, I've never done laundry a day in my fucking life. And my girlfriend, like, she likes doing my laundry. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. They got married, yeah. No. She's like, that's what my mom did for my dad. And that's and I. That's how she shows she cares. Is that an cares. act of service? It is an act of service. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. That is, that is real. Email the show, incahootscc at gmail.com if you like doing yeah. chores and stuff Email for your man. Email the show, see what happens. I don't think you have, like, I don't think you know as many types of women as I do. Just I because know you, so many types of women. Yeah, but not women. how they interact with men. You're right. All of mine are, like, strong and independent and, like, com- yeah. comedians. They're all comedians who yeah. are psycho. Outspoken. Yeah. Solo acts. They know who they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know a lot of like domestic, like middle America women, I guess I would say. Yeah. That sounded so mean. The way I'm saying this sounds really mean. But I mean, like, there's no, and there's no issue with like a woman doing a man's the laundry. Average, but the like, average if, lady. if like that's what everyone's doing, I have a huge problem with it. If you like doing it, go for it. Right. Yeah. That's, if yeah, he yeah, like, yeah. If he feels love from it and you feel love from doing it, I love that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a lot of people like that. My old roommate, fucking helpless like he but yeah like, if you don't I know to how to do mom. your laundry if no, you're no. a man who doesn't know how to do it and like if she leaves you then you're useless yeah. then go fuck yourself yeah see you don't like that type of dude no he had so many women that were like lining up to be his fucking girlfriend that would never they work in vermont wanted I think to we, take care we of came him. from such different cultures they, yeah he grew up in northern ohio yeah, that's yeah. so different from Vermont. I he, had no idea those kinds of people still existed oh, as yeah. I was growing up. They're I was all like, over the place. I was like, wow, this is awesome. What a that's nice your postmodern heritage. society. And wow, I didn't know that we were still stuck like in the 60s. Your mom was a stay-at-home mom. All she did was take care of everybody. All she did was take care of everybody? Well, I'm sure she did a lot of take care of every- taking f- care of everyone. full-time job plus. That's what I'm saying. You don't think she enjoyed it on some level? I hope she enjoyed it. Renee, call the show. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of people like that. They like taking care of people. Caretakers, they're called. <laughs> but they're not given any money or any, like, prestige in society, no, which is upsetting not. because which they is work the part harder. I like, it's like the dog walking thing. It's mm-hmm. like, there's no job that's harder than, like, the least paying jobs in the world. Right. Ugh. Yeah. Which I guess we all know. I'm just preaching to the choir. Yeah. Choir. Hey, you never know. You never know. Get a stray MAGA listener. <laughs> That'd be wild. <laughs> that would be wild. We were in a show he's last like, night. What does the and other side think? <laughs> like he's just trying to like figure it out. Yeah. Right. Um, these in cahoots folks. <laughs> um, I don't like it when the woman talks, <laughs> but I guess I'll listen. 
uh, we were in a show last night. That bit me on the ass. We were in a show last night, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, we're in Brooklyn. I don't need to explain what pansexual yes. is. And yeah. then after the show, a woman's like, I'm from Russia. I don't know what pansexual <laughs> is. And I was like, oh, Jesus. And it's like, <laughs> She's like, I'm not from Midwest. You yeah. have to tell me what pansexual is. And I was then the like, other oh, woman was like, I'm okay. from Ohio. I have no idea what you're saying either. Yeah, right? <laughs> She's like, I guess I get it, but I don't like get it. I was like, I ain't going. That was really funny. Boston yeah, they were helped from him here. out. So yeah, she was dope. That was good. But anyway, yeah. Russia. I couldn't Can't tell assume. if she. I couldn't tell if she didn't like pansexual or didn't care. Like I, I don't think she got process. it. Still. I don't think she understood. I think she it. like got it. Yeah, she was like, like oh, I like everything. Yeah. I there's also a chance that it's like not a big thing. That, oh no, there's like famously little gay rights in Russia. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she's probably just new to her. Yeah, you know. We got four minutes left. Oh. Three minutes left. Um, 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 Two we have to minutes watch the left. Basketball. One minute uh, left. Women's basketball is over, and men's yeah. basketball is tonight. Yeah. It doesn't uh, start till congratulations. 9.20, so we got a little Dawn more. Dawn Staley is just the greatest woman of all time. I'm so Dawn happy for her. Dawn Staley. I'm so happy for South Carolina, but uh, specifically for Dawn. Luna. Um, that yeah, was I your think, sports update no, with yeah, Carmen Legala. We, we, we kind of covered everything then, because it was just going to, yeah. What, did what you, was your yeah. psychology thing about me? Oh, you had another, th- you had a theory. Oh, I did have a psycho. What was it? <gasps> what was it? I was going to ask you a psychology question about yourself. And you're like, I oh, have a few, oh, but you'll cut oh, some of them. Oh, yeah. I was going <laughs> to ask you on, <laughs> on camera where oh. you can't escape. Oh, um, no. Oh, no. I was going to, because you studied psychology, yep. but it's one thing to study it and know about other people and one thing to know about yourself. Mm-hmm. So I had a question for you yeah. and that is you are very good at taking compliments when it applies to your work ethic uh-huh. and to comedy yep. and to your accomplishments and your achievements. But you uh-huh. are very, very bad at taking compliments when they are about your physical appearance. Yep. Why is that? Go. We've talked about it. You literally, we talked about it literally with the photo that my dad sent you. Mm-hmm. I grew up being bullied for being fat. Mm-hmm. And also I come from a non, a very non showy culture. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, growing up, my dad would always make joke, make jokes about like how it sucks taking your shirt off at the beach. It was just mm-hmm. like, you know, it's what I grew up with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then also the mirror thing. And mm-hmm. I think everybody does this to an extent, but like every one of your bad features is way more pronounced mm-hmm. in a mirror. And it also doesn't show the whole thing because you're getting super close to it. Yeah. So like when I walk up super close to the mirror, it looks like my man boob is fucking huge. But then if I see like a long shot, which I don't see very often, I'm like, oh, I look totally like I look thin. Like all those videos mm-hmm. of me playing mm-hmm. basketball, I'm like shocked by how thin I look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because in the mirror, I'm like, Jesus, I'm a fat piece of shit. Mm, body dysmorphia. Yeah. I have sure. the same exact thing. Yeah. I know. Where I'm like, I'm thick, and then I look and I'm like, I am tiny. Yeah, you're you're pretty small. You do it with like pimples. Yes. Where Which, you're like, you get I found a right solution. Up in the mirror, you're like, this yeah. thing's fucking huge. I'm like, I can <laughs> barely fucking see that. <laughs> Guys, I found the cure to all acne forever. I swear to God. I've been working my whole life. This is such a bold statement. And if I was on semen TikTok. Semen cubes. <laughs> she freezes my I do not semen. Freeze your semen she and then rub it on my, my face semen. like other TikTok weirdos. She rubs it on her face and then she pops it in her mouth. That's a real thing. It Mom, is a real thing. I'm sorry. It exists, and, and that's Carmen not what, does it. <laughs> so what New I York did. has changed her. God damn it, Corey! She's okay. mixing women with men. It's an unholy. You are not being in cahoots issue. right now. The answer is. I feel like I'm very in cahoots. Because <laughs> I've been trying everything my whole life. I've been using like a lot of aggressive acne techniques and everything. But the answer is just to moisturize and leave your face the fuck alone. I've been using CeraVe, PM moisturizer it's supposed to be like night moisturizer but like it can't tell the difference between night and day just use it all the time for n- night and day um yeah they're it's like pretty cheap comparatively to things that you can stop find at sephora it's dermatology like tested and recommended it's a great brand it doesn't have a ton of like shitty additives or anything and it just if you just consistently stay hydrated and don't poke at it my skin's never been so clear it's been really good right now it also could be the season I do really well in the spring and summer, and then I start to, once it gets dry and cold, my skin gets very upset. Oh, my hands have never been worse, though. I've never picked more skin off in my life. Sarah V, sponsor this, <laughs> this fingerless woman. <laughs> <laughs> 
she she's advertising your product for free. We'd love we'd love a little kickback, even like a free bottle. I think would be pretty fucking cool. Um, that is what a lot of people online say, and then they get sponsored by someone, and then they ah. start plugging all the different products. I would love to plug Cerave. I really like them. Yeah, but then they start giving you all the different moisturizers, and you have to start plugging that, and it turns into a whole fucking thing. I would plug it, but not use it. Um, before we go, mm-hmm. so my friend Jillian mm-hmm. that went on a date with another comic. Oh yes, uh, who's moved here? Yes, uh, told me a few days ago she wanted to potentially try comedy at an open mic. Oh my god! And I was like, "Yeah, give it a shot." This is how they all start, it baby. Would never happen. No, and she got then... the she got the virus. If you kiss a comedian in New York City. <laughs> 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 it's exactly like an STD. Wow. It's a um, real zombie like <laughs> uh, thing going on over here. STC, sexually transmitted comedy. Gross. <laughs> God, that'd be a good name for the for the episode if it wasn't already. Sexually uh, transmitted comedy? Yeah, if it wasn't already um, total eclipse of the fart. <laughs> but <laughs> she just texted me saying, I just went to Black Cat LES for the open mic. I'm so much funnier than many of these guys. Baby Jillian might make her debut next week. Yes. <laughs> I want to be Jay, like, it's I'm a so great ready. time to do comedy as a woman. That's for sure. You think so? Right now? Yeah. For sure. Why? You're not allowed to sexually assault them anymore? I wouldn't call that a great time. <laughs> yeah, comparatively <laughs> a great Sorry, time. Sorry, real quick, it's 9-11, and I just... Great. It, I always look at the clock when it's 9-11. I it's don't know what that is. comparatively a great time, because there's not a ton of you doing it. There's okay. a lot of shows. Every show needs at least one, and you're not allowed to sexually assault them anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. So compared to 10 years ago, which you can back me up on this... <sighs> High bar. Great time. <laughs> you're so mad at progress if it's not perfect yeah there's some psychology there how come you're good at giving yourself slack but then everyone else has to be perfect for you to be satisfied with them what do you mean i give myself slack like like if you have an emotional response or you get angry at mm-hmm. this thing mm-hmm. you're like oh well you know it's okay to be angry sometimes yeah it is okay to be angry sometimes yeah. But then Angry like shitty, shitty, stuff, to right, shitty, shitty stuff happens and you're like, it's unacceptable. That's two anger things. Yeah. Right. But you like give yourself the benefit of the doubt. No, I'm still angry at something external. Oh. Next week, I'll rephrase this question so that it makes sense for <laughs> Carmen. I've too much I'm... wine and I can't believe I just won whatever just happened. <laughs> I just I'll give her the win. I had too much wine to like really put my thought together without this ending in a divorce. So I'm like, well, what do you got to plug? This um, doesn't come out this week, next week. Okay, it comes out next so, week. So we'll be going to Portland, right? Portland. We got Portland this Please weekend. come to Portland. Please tell your friends that are in Portland or around Portland because we're also in Salem and Los Dales. The Dells. The Dells. The, the Dales, I think. The Dales? The Dales? Um, they keep trying to kick me off the shows, but I think <laughs> if I just show up, they'll be like, oh, yeah, do 20 no, minutes. No, 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 you're fine. Okay. Um, I'm not on it the just, it, We changed the dates at the last minute, so then it got screwed up on the calendar, but you were ob- definitely on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 18th, 19th, and 20th of April, 2024, baby. Mm-hmm. And then after that, oh, I got CYSK on the 24th. Um, that's comedians you should know in at the gutter bar in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Come through. I got all kinds of just like we'll random just shit. Those. It'll be my stories. Follow me on Instagram at Carmstagrams. And we are both also in uh oh DC, Detroit. Yeah, we're in DC on June twenty eight, twenty nine. Potentially Vermont. I'm in I'm in Vermont Seattle. July twelve and thirteen. Uh you're doing a lot of traveling in July. Jeez. Not really. Well, yeah, if we're going back to my oh, house. We're going to Michigan. Mm-hmm. For not comedy. Oh no, we're going to the independent. Are we doing a shows? Are we doing shows in Michigan? But not yeah, at in that October. time. October. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That'll just be a weekend. We're in Connecticut. Oh, we're on your birthday on May second. Mm-hmm. We'll be in Connecticut at the Evening Sky Brewery. Mm. Great. In. I. I don't know. We'll have just done New Hampshire, so that's over. Unhelpful. Didn't need to say it. Uh, what else? You kill. 
Oh, comedy's talk. back at Ferns in the East Village. If you're visiting the the village, come see uh, come see me there. Carmen's mm-hmm. doing my birthday show on May 9th. That one's around. Pew, pew, birthday pew. show. We're gonna do a party afterwards. We got Matt Broussard, uh, Laura Sogar, <gasps> May Durand, they and they did. I had to double text them, which yeah. is so desperate. That's okay. No, it was a it was his birthday. He's yeah, yeah, getting yeah, yeah. a lot of messages. So you aware. have to double text. Okay. Um, I'm not giving them shit. Go follow them on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Thousand Foot Mustache, the show at the laundromat in Greenpoint for throwing me on <laughs> last night. I appreciate that. Go check out that show. That's a cool one. That's cool. Um, at the Grizzly Pair, Corey T Comedy on all social media. Um, Connecticut, like she said, all those dates. Um, I'm going to be doing a show live from the tomb you found in uh, the graveyard. I've already booked it. Oh, yeah. I had like some sort of blood deal with some sort of goblin down there. I think I uh, sold your soul or whatever. I also have a zit on my shoulder. You can check that out right here. Cerevi, check out that zit. <laughs> Give us some money. And thank you People for being in cahoots with us. us.